and look at some specific examples on interpretation and some common questions around oral fluid. Here's an example of a sample where there are no metabolites present. This is what you expect to see in a totally normal oral fluid sample. Remember, oral fluid provides a snapshot of drugs actively circulating in the bloodstream, which are primarily parent, and the metabolites themselves are rapidly cleared from the body going to waste. In this example, here's a side-by-side -side of what you might see if you took both a urine sample and an oral fluid sample at exactly the same time. These samples are consistent with hydrocodone use. The urine at the bottom shows the parent drug, hydrocodone, and the metabolites, hydromorphone and norhydrocodone. At the top, you see the oral fluid result with just the parent drug, hydrocodone, and no metabolites. These are both completely normal results. I'll also point out the cutoffs to the right. You see here the oral fluid is much lower than the urine cutoffs. Another common question is around THC. It is well known that THC is stored in the fat tissues of the body, so it can take some time to metabolize out completely. The longer you use marijuana, the more often you've used it, the more it's stored. So it can take quite some time to leave the body completely and sometimes up to 45 days. But the concentration of urine is highly variable, so levels of THC can fluctuate day to day and throughout the day. And this can make interpretation of new use versus old use very difficult. So we utilize the creatinine level in the urine to normalize for this variability, reflected here as the THC to creatinine ratio. And it is the ratio you would use to determine new use or old use. With oral fluid, this is no longer an issue. Oral fluid is not subject to dilution effects and further does not reflect this trickling out effect of THC that we see in urine. A positive oral fluid result only reflects recent use in the last one to two days. Usually, a positive oral fluid THC result is actually from the residual DHC absorbed into the oral surfaces from recent smoking and not from the blood at all. So you will see here the differences in how urine THC result and oral fluid result will look. In the urine, you have the creatinine value and the ratio from the normalization. In oral fluid, it's not necessary, it's not appropriate to look for creatinine, so only the parent compound is listed. Two positives in a row, more than one to two days apart, reflect new use.